Welcome back folks, this is Tommy, Help with Gadgets, and I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, disassembly and cleaning of the Berg Blades Sweeney. This is a titanium bolster with the um, Mars Valley carbon fiber. Really cool knife, just got it in today. So let's, uh, let's do some disassembly on this thing. Um, T8 on the... Uh, pivot and we'll back that off. Let's see. Let's do it from the other side, and that worked out well. All right, so from th this side, it looks like I need to take off these very carefully. And I'm going to also do this one here. Set those to the side. Carefully remove this. Maybe carefully remove this. Let's see. I've never taken one of these apart, so I am having to figure this out live. Makes for exciting times. I would have thought that that would have just popped off, but not, not necessarily. It looks like that's what should happen. Hmm. Well, let's see. Okay, folks, it took me a minute to uh, finagle this loose, but uh, it does uh, does come loose. Um, I noticed as I wiggle these um, scales that it was starting to get a little separation there between the uh, uh, scale and the titanium. So just uh, kept wiggling that. There's actually a pin under there that... Uh, sits in that hole there you can see the pin there and uh does a very good job of keeping these uh in place so uh very cool all right so now i should be able to change over to um t6s is it t6 let's see about that Let's try another one. T7 there. Let's get in my handy dandy box of knife hardware and see if I don't have a fresh new T6. Is not a T6. And I'm not finding what I need, so bear with me just a moment, folks. We're gonna get uh get another T6. Alright, got me another T6 here, and what you want to do when you're disassembling, especially if it's a T6, is make sure that you have a good bit. And in this case, I'm using some Weha bits. Alright, very cool. Alright, and now let's go ahead and switch this one back to the T8. I put the, uh, the pivot back in a few minutes ago when I was playing with it because I didn't want to um, I didn't want to um, mess up that uh, blade 
by having it rub on the inside of the scales. Because once you take that pivot loose, a lot of times it will throw it off to the side a little bit. So now I'm just trying to work this loose. You can see the lightning pocket there. Can't do a whole lot of lightning on that part because that's pretty thin already. All right, got the backspacer there. All right, let's take this off and let's take those loose and get those in a bath there. Alright, let's get some uh, alcohol swabs and wipe down the inside of the scales here. Wipe the outside down as well. That uh, pack special's got a pin in it. And there's the. I believe that's the serial number there. Let's go ahead and wipe off this part. Wipe off that, and especially the lock face. It looked like it probably had a uh, canine hair in it from uh, being in my house. Alright, so pretty simple uh, disassembly here. Go ahead and grab these, wipe those off. Let them dry off a bit. Grab the pivot. Try to get the alcohol out of there. And same thing for the Pivot screw. We're just going to take that, pinch it, and try to clean out those threads there. Although they look pretty clean. So, no complaints there. All right. Let's take a swab to clean out those. Got stainless steel washers in there. Clean out that side. Clean out that side. And again, you got the stainless steel washers there. Obviously, you need to, to remove those. Check and make sure there's nothing on the lock face. All right. Uh, I believe this may be a free spinning pivot. So let's go ahead and put a few drops of I'm using the gunny glide today. drop of that on the inside of the hole there. And when you do that, make sure you wipe off the top of this there. Make sure there's no oil that gets in on that side. I'll go ahead and set this in place with a little pin. Uh, looks like I probably need to put a bearing on this side too. Else it's not going to run really good. Be kind of crooked. All right. Yeah, and 
and set this in place. We'll take this long screw here and drop it right there. Same thing for this one. And uh, get my nice little, I mentioned these had the, uh, the Weeha bit. Um, I was gifted this uh, driver and I usually keep it at my other desk. I sometimes bring it in here though. The lighting in here is much better for uh, content creation. Speaking of content creation, uh, would really appreciate it if you haven't done so. If you would uh, subscribe, wow, that's a very smooth transition there. If you would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you enjoyed the content, if you have any comments, please leave them down below, and I will make every effort to. Uh, respond to those oops thought I dropped it almost did I will make any effort to respond to comments um, I found that I learned things from the comments that I didn't know and uh, in my opinion that's a good thing to always be learning um, It helps a lot in in a in a lot of different aspects of life. So if I can learn something from you, that is awesome. Hopefully, you can uh, learn something from the disassembly video. Uh, when I first started getting back into knives, that's something that I did that uh, um, I feel helped me out was being able to uh, look at a video and uh, figure out uh, what I needed to do in order to uh, disassemble a knife. And I hope to provide some of that back to the community with uh, some of the content that I create. So I think we've got it. This is a very, uh, very nice blade. Very nice uh, scales. It uh, flips well. Let's see if I can... No, I can't do that yet, but I think once it breaks in a little bit more, I am probably going to be able to do that. <clears throat> I did it. All right, good deal. I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Thank y'all.